you into that lesson 1.1, recognize the 10 to 1 relationship among place value positions. I can describe place value relationships in multi-digit whole numbers. Spark your learning. On a road trip, Anna and her family stop at a ranch where bales of hay are being weighed. Describe the relationship between the two weights. How can you use those relationships to compare the weights? Okay, so each bale is what? 50 pounds, okay? And then they have a total of how many bales there? 10, so a total of 500, right? Okay, so we could do our longs, right? Okay, or um, our skinny. So we can do how many um, would there be? So basically, can we, what is that ratio? Do you guys know what ratio that is? Let's look at it. So I can mark off a zero here and a zero here, right? Okay. What is five divided by five? Five goes into five how many times? One time. So this would be a one. And then five goes into 50 how many times? Ten. So it's a one to ten ratio. So if I have, so how many of these? So five of those, okay, to get how many of these? So we would a flat, right? Equals a hundred. Okay. Okay, so how many total flats are up? Actually, let's not do it that way. We could have it that way, but it's kind of hard for you guys to picture. So let's just draw. So there's five here, right? And then so once again, this is 50 compared to 500, right? Because a flat equals 100 and a long equals 10. So is this another way to represent it with place value? Okay, with our number cubes. All right. Okay, and is that still a 1 to 10 ratio? Yes. Build understanding number one, Anna's aunt opens a savings account for her. Anna, her brother, and her aunt all make contributions. The amount of each contribution is shown. Okay, so complete the place value chart to show the amount of money that each person contributes. So, how much did Anna's aunt contribute? 200. So, we're going to start here, right? How much did Anna's brother contribute? $20. And how much did Anna contribute? Two dollars. Okay. What is the relationship between the amount of money Anna's aunt contributes and the amount Anna's brother contributes? So, or so ten times more. The aunt. Um. So Anna's aunt. contributes 10 times more than Anna's brother. Okay, how does the position of the digit two change when the amount of Anna's brother contributes is multiplied by 10? So it would be one place to the left, okay? The two, one, two. One place to the left. Basically, you'd be multiplying by 10, so you'd be adding a zero. So then you get one place value higher. What is the relationship between the amount Anna contributes and the amount Anna's brother contributes? So hers is, is it less or more? Less. So hers is one, what? One tenth of her brother's. Okay. So Anna contributes One tenth 
of what her brother does. How this method is in the digit two change is by one tenth of that amount. So since we are multiplying, we start with one place to the left before one tenth, we would be dividing, right? So it would go one place to the right. So basically, the two moved over one place this way, right? Okay, on that one, this one, it would have moved over one place this way to get it to be the same, correct? Okay, okay so complete each column in the table. If I took 10 times as much as 7,000, I'm going to do what? Add a zero, so I'm going to have seven and then four zeros, and then come back and add in my comma. So I have what? 70,000, right? One times as much, I'm going to have. 7,000 because you get the same number, right? Okay, 800 times 10, I'm going to add a zero. So I have what now? 8,000. Okay, and then one tenth as much. Do I add a zero or drop a zero? Drop a zero. So that one would be 80. 600,000. They said 10 times as much. They added a zero and got what? Six million. If I take it times one, I get the answer. So six hundred thousand and one tenth of it. I I do what to it? Drop a zero, and I'm left with sixty thousand. So how does the number of zeros in each number change? In the tenth column, we what? Add a zero, right? How does it change in the one times as much? It doesn't, right? It stays the same. And then in the one tenth of column, what do we do? Drop a zero. Now, what if it didn't end with a zero? Can you just drop a zero like in the middle of the number? No. Okay, it has to be um, at the end, right? There are 60 students on a school bus. One tenth of the students are in fifth grade. How many fifth graders are there? So one tenth of 60. So we said what? Are you adding a zero, dropping a zero, or staying the same? Dropping a zero. So we're left with what? Six. And what's our label? Fifth graders to be specific. Okay, when 600 is multiplied by 10, how does the position of the 6 change? So basically, you're going to do what? You're going to add a zero, so which way does the left then move? Which way does the 6 then move to? I just accidentally told you. To the left. Okay. It moves how many places? One place to the left. What number is 10 times as much as 200? So am I adding a zero, taking off a zero, or keeping it the same? Adding a zero. So it's not 200, it's 2,000. What number is one tenth of 900,000? So am I adding a zero, taking off a zero, or keeping it the same? Taking off a zero. So instead of five, I'm going to have four zeros and then come back in and add my comma. On your own, number five, use tools. How do you know that 400 is 10 times as much as 40? So how do we know that? Okay, so basically, if I were to draw this with my um, place value or my number cubes, so 40 would be represented this way, right? Okay, 400 
would be represented this way. So that means that there are four groups of 10, right? Okay, so how do we know that it's that much bigger? Because on this one, we only have 10 little sticks, or four little sticks, right? And then over there, we have like big bundles, right? Okay, so is this showing our work? Okay, use the please value chart to describe how 800,000 and 8 million compare to each other. So if we write 800,000, we're going to put that in our, and then 8 million. Okay, so what is 8 million compared to, or 800,000? So 800,000 is what? Is 10 times 1 10 thousand. What is it? 1 10 of 8 million because the 8 is one place to the right. Of the other eight, right? What number is 10 times as much as 5,000? So are we adding a zero or are we taking away a zero? We're adding a zero. So instead of three, we're going to put four and then come back in and add a comma. And we're going to keep recording. If we run out of time, this page does need to be finished. So what number is one-tenth of 900? So are we adding a zero or taking away a zero? We're going to take away a zero, so our answer is 90. Attend to precision. Gavin has 30 stickers. Marissa has 300 stickers. What is this that relates the number of stickers Gavin has to the number of stickers Marissa has? So Gavin has... He has 30 and Marissa has 300. So does he have 10 times as much or one tenth of? One tenth of. One tenth. So Gavin has one tenth as many stickers as Marissa. Open it. The answer to a place value question is 50,000. What could the question be? Okay. What is 10 times as much as what? 5,000. Because we would add a what to that? A zero when we're taking it times 10. 